everyone, so today I thought I would do a quick video on how I organized my closet. I don't think I shared, but we had a flood and the carpet has been damaged because of the flood. So I found myself in a reorganization period because we are going to need to move out all of this furniture and everything that touches the floor, which is really um, stressful in a way because you think how much stuff you keep in drawers and how to hang them up so that I have more access to them while they're redoing the flooring and also to organize my closet. So first of all, I started by putting all of my laundry away. I washed every single piece of clothing that I had and I hung it. And the first thing when I did put it away, I made sure that everything was facing that direction. So when I come in, I will see the front of everything. Next, I categorized it by different um, categories. Jackets, dresses, shorts, skirts, tank tops, or halter tops, tank tops, shirts, and light sweaters. So that was the next step. Then by color, darks, lights, colors, lights, colors, darks, and the same with all of my shirts and sweaters. After that, I had to do uh, some cleaning out of things that I hadn't worn, but I had a really hard time doing that because it's hard to part with clothing. They seem to have sort of an emotional attachment sometimes. So I asked my sister-in-law to come and clean out my closet. And I basically just said, please take out whatever you think I shouldn't own. Put it on the floor. I'll go through it later. And it was hard because a lot of things that I felt I should keep, she felt was either needed to go. But I couldn't get rid of everything. I got rid of a few things that she asked me to get rid of. But the ones that I kept like this Abercrombie and Fitch hoodie, which I use when I need to run out and get something from the grocery store and it's cold outside, I just throw this on. I put a little red ribbon on it, so if I don't wear it a lot or I don't wear it within the next year, I should definitely remove it from my wardrobe. So it was really, um, it was really good for her to come and take things out because I wouldn't have taken out anything, to be honest. And you have to have somebody who we kind of trust and even though we have different styles I really once I reviewed what she had um, taken out I, I felt like yeah it's time to it's time to get something else and I understood a lot of it so anyways uh, jackets I make sure that everything is winter ready that means no stains they're cleaned and everything fits properly and if anything needs to be fixed I will fix it Dresses, I love dresses and one thing I have to do with all of these dresses is that you have to iron them and it takes about a day to get through everything but it needs to get done so that when you do want to wear it, it'll be ready to be worn. So it's another step in organizing. It's not just, you know, hanging and separating. There's a little bit more. Also, fixing anything broken or any, uh, not broken, <laughs> broken zippers, any buttons, replacing anything, making sure that when you put it on it's perfect, ironed and you know dry clean if it needs to. And that's with the dresses. Now I decided to hang all of my shorts, take them out from these drawers just so I know what I own. And I hang my shorts, if they have a belt loop, I, I hang them by the belt loop. If they don't have any loop, I have these little hangers back from the stores that have these little clips to clip them on. So at least now I know what I own. And like I said, if I don't wear it within the next year, I should definitely consider removing it. Uh, halter tops, tank tops, and tops. These seem to be the hardest to get rid of, but I have decided to wear every item in my closet at least once for the rest of the year and not buy anything else. And if I feel uncomfortable in it, if it's not you know, a good look for me, I'm going to put it in the to-go pile. So that's basically how I organized it. Uh, these dressers keep towels and shoes, linen and pants. I do have just a couple of pants. I'm not a big uh, wearer of pants, so I only own I think like three pairs of jeans. So they're in there. And that's it. Um, I decided not to keep any um, intimate wear, um, bras, panties, things like that. They're actually in these little bins up here, which I don't think you can see. 
but they're in these little bins up there and as I use them I take them down and I take it out just so that when we do do the remodel and the flooring gets replaced I don't have to go through these drawers and it also has helped so much because I hated having to come up with some kind of divider for these drawers which are kind of deep and awkward and I don't just throw them in there at least when I put them away I separate them by what they are so it's so much easier to find things and it's helped so much when I'm getting ready I just come here and I grab what I need and then I grab my outfit and I'm ready for the next day so anyways I hope it helps it's pretty simple if you've got the time it actually took me about five days to organize it and oh also another thing that I have really become very I guess very persistent in doing is when I let's say I'm going to wear this today I take it off the hanger and I move the hanger to the end of the closet so there's no empty hangers hanging it really also helps when you're putting away laundry that all of your hangers are there and you don't have to be coming and looking for an empty hanger so anyways I hope it helps and I hope it motivates you to organize your closet